Hey everybody, it's the shape back to another video. Man, we we on a roll this year. Uh, I, before, uh, you're probably wondering why I'm not out in the studio. It's well, it's data winter. It's unusually cold, and I got to get some heat percolating out there before I can film full time because <laughs> you know I don't want to you know freeze to death out there. <sighs> that being said, YouTube. This video is for you, okay? Let's just get that right out of the way real quick. Uh, I thought something, I thought this would be fun if I could compare a debunker's brain to, you know, let's just say something like this guy. <laughs> or this guy. And I thought, I wonder what would be the difference of when you're watching these scary clips and between those two and a real debunker and I thought that would be something to behold and that's what we're going to do it's going to be a banger some really good debunks in this one let's get into it There's nothing scarier than seeing something terrifying happen in your own home. What's even worse is when you get it on camera. Hey, I'm going to be showing you unexplainable paranormal videos from around the web. But before I show you anything, I'm going to need you to smash that like button. That way I can tell the ghost in this video not to haunt your dreams forever. So this random dude is just walking down the hall and then out of nowhere... He's just getting picked up and moved around. I can't explain oh, this. Like, I didn't this even is... see him get picked up before. What the hell? You you gotta love his catchphrase. The fam says it in every video. Oh, 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 oh wow! What the hell? What the hell? Ooh, I'm a savage. Ooh, savage. I'm savage. Grr. I probably took that a bit overboard, but I don't know. It felt good doing that. Like, look at this. Just gets picked up like you know he did somebody dirty like this is karma coming to pay him back i don't know what it is karma you say <laughs> i don't know about karma coming back at that guy but i would look at this as a skeptical brain and say that looks like cgi with a little bit of wire work that lifts him off the ground that's what i would say going into it but I would have to prove my case. But my first thought wouldn't be, this dude is actually being picked up by demons and carried across an entire room. But you'll never hear Omar and uh, James the fan say that because their whole concept is based on fake paranormal. So, let's look for the wires. Now I've seen enough wire work in Hollywood to know exactly how this stuff works. So let me show you. And it baffles my mind that some people are so dumb they can't see what's right in front of them. Like for instance, when you slow it down and zoom in and stuff, when I said there's wires lifting his body, I knew the wires would have to be on each shoulder somewhere because the way he's balanced perfect. And sure enough, let's take a look at this picture, screenshot, and you will see one weird looking thing on each shoulder blade and that looks like something that two wires would connect to on each side because they don't supposed to be there huh now you see what logic gets you you know what show another picture logic gets you the answers that you seek because you use your brain instead of going oh that was that was definitely a demon throwing that guy across the room I have some poltergeist coming to pay him back. So in this next clip, there's this girl that is in her apartment and she has a TikTok. You can go see her TikTok video and see. But she notices that there's a shadow from the other side of the window. You could kind of see her. I haven't played the clip yet, but can you see this? She, she sees this shadow on the other side of the window and she's already like, you know, hey, is somebody messing with me? Like, what's going on here? So this is what happens. Now this next clip, I want you to picture this in your brain. What reason does she have picking up the camera and recording? First off, right? 
What reason would you have to lift the blinds, drop it back down, lift the blinds and drop it back down, and then keep filming as it walks away? That would make sense later. She's like, there's something there and I don't know what it is. So she opens up the curtain and she's like, yo, what the hell? Ain't nothing there. Okay, it gets better. It gets better. You see the shadow right there, right? Yeah. Okay, look, there's, no, there's nothing there. And then it moves. <gasps> and then it moves. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Two, two grown men that act like little children. That's what you get. You get... You get Omar, and then you get an imitation of Omar, who would be nothing without Omar. But when you put both brains together, you still a bit shy of uh, a full. Let's watch the clip. What I think is happening here, they got a straight line of mask where the blinds are blurry at the main edge. I think they have a mask that follows the blind up. Now, as I was watching that, I got to thinking, what if the shadow isn't on the outside of the window? What if the shadow's in the room with the girl, like over her shoulder? What can create a shadow like that? It's either that, or there's a mask right at the very bottom of as she's uh, lifting the blind the mask moves up with the bottom of the blind. It's no different than somebody getting behind a sheet. You put the mask at the top of the sheet, they hold the sheet above their head and they drop it. The mask comes down with the sheet and the person disappears, same concept. Maybe the window's dirty from the other side. You know, it looks like this dark outline. I mean, just look at it moving. I don't know, I cannot describe this. Now I know this ain't like an awesome debunk on this particular clip, but it's hard to, I think it, I do think it's a mask. But I want you to think about intentions. Like if somebody's filming this supposed paranormal video and they got this spot that looks like a head peeking through the window, right? You're recording it. Now, you lift it up, it's gone. You drop it back down, it's there. Okay, now when you post that video, people are gonna go, oh, well, every time you lift it, somebody ducked or it's just a spot on the window and it's just causing that shadow. And the only way the person making this fake paranormal can combat that is if the shadow moves. They're thinking ahead. That's how that works. Let's look at the next clip. This clip right here, I don't know what to think of it. It's like this little girl is laughing and she's behind this doll. It's a life, first of all, that life-size Barbie or whatever it is, like that's... No, I don't do that. That's like, I, hate. I don't like haunted dolls either. But there's something behind it laughing. At first, I thought maybe it's a kid playing hide and seek. No. Now, there's two things as is the bunker when you see that clip you think of. One, CGI. And two, uh, just trick of the camera. Like as he's walking up and he's going around the right side of the doll, as that person ducks down, as he goes around, this person's coming the other way, going behind him because he never turns the camera back that way. It could be choreographed, obviously. But I really want to take a focus on the eyeballs for a couple of reasons. And here's why. No, that's not the best part. So the guy's already freaked out because he's like, what the hell was that behind this life-size doll? Yeah, he never turns the camera around behind him. But, you know, these two guys aren't intelligent enough to, you know, call that out. The guy runs around this side as our cameraman goes around the right side. See, he never turns the camera around backwards. So that's easy to get out of frame by ducking down and crawling away. Now, of course, Omar is going to make a big deal out of it. Oh, golly darn. The, he's getting ready to bring up how the eyes move on this thing. Now, I don't know what kind of doll that is. And I don't know if it's just a doll where the eye is supposed to move or simple CGI. I know I bring up CGI a lot, but this makes sense because when Omar mentions the eyes, I want you to focus on the little shiny spot in the eye. You know, the eye glare that every eyeball has, the reflection in the eye. When your eyes move, the eye glare in the pupil is going to move as well. Check this out. 
in the freaking Look at the glint in her eyes. We'll zoom in. The glint in her eyes literally never moves. As you can see, the glare stays right there. It does not, that shine in the eye does not move across the pupil. When your eyes move, the glare is going to move. That's just the way it works. Just like this mask. It moves, the glares move. But that one doesn't. Think about that a second. Now let me show you what an eye would supposed to look like. But the glint right here is how glints work in an eyeball. The glint moves when the pupils do. Yes, I do look a little closer than most people. You know what? Shut your mouth, okay? Shut your mouth. I have to. Somebody has to do this, okay? I save you the trouble of having to slow it down frame by frame. You're welcome. No, I'm kidding. Uh, most of you guys, you love it, and I love you. Let's get to the next clip, because they only get better from here. There'll be a secret word in this video, too, by the way, if I don't forget. <laughs> Oh. I found these other TikTokers that they don't do much paranormal either, and they decided to play a prank on their friend. And they had this creepy mask. James Here's these guys right here, and they're they're showing this mask, and they're like, they're showing how the eyes don't move. And as I've said before, if brains were gunpowder, I don't think they could blow their nose. I know it's a bit mean. I know. Now what they're pointing out is they're showing that when they move this mask, the eyeballs don't move, right? That's what they're showing. But what, you know, Omar and the fam, the the number one fam. Sorry. I can't stand that guy. But the eye slits on both sides, the peripheral of both eyes are cut out in the mask. Which means if you're looking at the mask like you're looking at mine, you can see through the mask. Because it's cut out. And that comes in. I think a ghost shook my camera. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I hit the wire. Or or did I? But no, what I'm saying is that... Let's slow it down and zoom in. As you can tell, you can see through the peripherals of both eyeballs in the mask. That way, we are all on the same page that you can see through everything but the pupil. You can see clean through the mask. Even if somebody's wearing it, you can see their face through those corners. Like I said, Omar and the fam, they don't mention that. So watch this prank. So they're trying to wake up their friend and like play a prank on them. Now look a little bit closer. Did you see that? Did you see the eyes moving? What the hell? The Wait, that's eyes, the same mask? That's the same mask. The same mask and the eyes are moving. This dude is like, what the hell? So they didn't even see this as they were filming it. They seen this probably afterwards after they released the video. Yeah, fam. Uh, head fam. That, that's what you guys do as well. Y'all, oh, make sure you look in the background of each one of our videos and point out something that we might have missed while you throw out that crappy content of your fake paranormal and just leave, like, find Waldo stuff in the background. That's what you do. But I don't think these TikTokers intentionally fake this video. I think it does look like the eyes are moving. But, like I said, both sides of the eyes on the mask you can see through and I'm going to make an animation showing you what's actually happening. It's almost as if like they're going to prank their friend and there's a spirit in there that's like, no, we're going to prank you. You're going to prank. I'm sorry. Say what? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> the spirit said, no, uh-uh, biatch. I'm going to prank you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my ghostly energy into the mask and I'm going to make the pupils on this latex mask or plastic move back and forth. Gotcha. You know, guys, I, I guess I'm wrong. I, I guess I dropped the ball on this cliff. I guess I'll, I guess I'll leave. Okay, I'm just gonna get on out of here. Uh, but there is just one more thing. Let's take a look at the animation. Pay attention to the eyes. This animation will show you exactly what happened and made it look like the pupils were moving in the video. But all you're seeing is this right here. Wow, mind blowing, huh? <laughs> it's amazing when you take a second to actually think about what's going on, you can actually come up with a fairly reasonable explanation. Well, this is 100% reasonable. This will happen. But, you know, when a mask moves and you can see through the eyes and you got something dark behind there, it's going to make it look 
as the mass moves this way, the eyes, that's what happened. Somewhat like this was when I was at the Crescent Hotel with Mackenzie and Kelsey and Tiffany. And her parents are shooting a video of her and watch real close. Something, did you see that? What? what that? Something just darts out in front of her and it's unexplainable. Like if you play this clip real slow. Now keep in mind, Omar says all these clips are unexplainable. Uh, and the reason I want to bring that up is because I literally explained every one of them so far. A couple of them wasn't like to the 100% all debunk, but close enough. But that last one was the mask. Now this one, when I first saw it, I thought plant. It looked like a plant to me. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if there's any more of the video. Maybe they got plants in their house. Maybe it's not something moving in front of the camera, but the camera just moving in front of a plant that's just sitting still. Look what I found. Oh, you can't even make out what it is. At first glance, to the normal eye, it just looks like it could be another person just running by, but this was not human. What right. unexplainable when you. That looks like a plant to me. Look at that. The camera's moving, the plant's not moving. Yes, it doesn't take a rocket scientist, uh, Omar and the number one fan, to say that looks a lot like a plant and. When the camera's moving to the right, the plant's moving to the left. But I had to make sure in this clip that they had other plants. And look at the end of this clip. <laughs> Speculate all you want, but unless you check it out for yourself, you just never know. <laughs> it looks like a plant. It looks like a couple of plants. Apparently these people like plants. Let's show a screenshot of said plant. Okay. What's that, like four for four right now or something? I ain't even keeping up. I don't even know why I said that. Okay, remember I said that nanny cams are terrifying? Check this next one out. There's this baby rolling in its in its crib, and there's like a face. You see that face? Oh, hell no. Bro, like, I uh -huh. wouldn't know what to do if I saw that on a camera. Like now, that one I really couldn't debunk because there's just not enough visual information to go by. Yes, that looks like a face. Could be a mask, could be a person just trying to go viral. Or, you know, it could be a spirit. You know, but like I said, it's not enough there to work with. Let's just skip to the next clip. Speaking of nanny cams, here's another one. So this mother and two daughters are on the bed. Her baby's on the bed just like playing. And obviously, I mean, you probably shouldn't have a baby that little on the bed anyways. But let's see what happens here because I cannot explain this. You see that? See, I, I do not like these clips at all. You guys know how I feel about having chill, kids get hurt in these clips then saying it's paranormal. Oh, did you see that? She got pulled up. No. She leaned forward and flopped backwards. Kids do that. Have you ever seen a kid get mad, fall on their butt, and slam their head back, straight back against the floor? The kid fell. Wasn't pulled. Let's slow it down and watch it again. See, the baby thinks when she flops backwards, she's just going to flop backwards on the bed. She don't know how close she is to the edge. Yeah, that baby just fell backwards. That's it. Uh, just parent, a parent not paying attention to their kid when they should be. That's all that is. It's almost like she got, like, pulled. Boy, you just can't get off that pulled, can you, Omar? Uh, let me show you what something being pulled would look like. Show, show that animation. If something is jerking the baby, it's going to look more like this. Now see, that right there would be more in line with some child being jerked off the bed by an invisible force. In this next clip right here, I did a little bit of research and somebody was having a demonic entity in their house. They reached out to a wizard to come and exorcise this demon. So they were doing an exorcism of the house. Now, first of all, <laughs> I'm looking down and they have a homemade Ouija board. Looks like it's created in marker on the table. Ouija board on a table, Ouija board on a wall, it doesn't matter. Ouija boards are made at a toy store. They're made of wood with letters on it. Numbers. You can see the wizard in the corner. What is a wizard? I've never heard of a wizard. Oh, you're supposed to like have priests come in to help with that. I've never heard of using a wizard. Yeah, I've never heard of that either, but maybe that's what these people wanted. They. It seems like he's doing some sort of 
ritual chant and if you look behind the girl in the black right there if you look behind her the cabinets start opening up so it gets even better okay they're there chilling for a couple minutes and then this happens all right wait for it Ooh! What? look at that so replay this so something comes flying across the table no is that what happened omar something just come flying across the table or shall we look into something a tad bit deeper and slow it down and analyze the footage like a normal person would do instead of you know assuming it's a ghost let's look then how does this girl know that a planchette is about ready to fly off the table take a look i'd say you all caught it comment below if you caught it on the first time but yes the lady that's standing in the back it either looks like a she's pulling on a string and causing that planchette to move because she is turning her body at the same time the planchette shooting that way or she knows it's going to happen before it does and she's moving now how would you know to do that before something moves now either this girl is making the planchette move or she is reacting before it even moves and what is this little glint now y'all starting to catch the difference between a critical thinker and those two guys i mean you see how the thought patterns and rhythms and just synapses in the brain firing on all cylinders the difference let's get to the next clip i gotta quit blowing smoke up my own now this next clip in my opinion at first i'm kind of just watching it and i'm like whatever it's a kid in the pool right no it just looks like a normal day in the pool this kid's like looks like he's slipping out of the guy's hands watch that clip again in slow motion okay and pay attention to the bottom okay look at this keep watching keep watching okay you're not gonna see oh here it goes look at that where did that hand come from now many reasons that third arm in the pool uh could have come from one of their friends or whatever first off it's not see-through a uh, spirit is energy now let's just say for the sake of argument a spirit could condense its energy enough to make a solid hand that just so happened to be the same tanness as the people in the pool you know like almost like they're from the same country i'm just saying and most of all though look at the palm of the hand real quick the ghost has the same color skin as the people did you get a good look at the palm of that ghost hand because the palm is really white and withered you know like when you're soaking in a pool or a bathtub and it draws all that moisture and your fingers get those wrinkles in it and your palms turn a different color if that was a spirit made of energy, how are they soaking in that water? Baffling. Look at the ghost's palms. Right. Wait, what did it come out of the edge of the pool? I don't know where it came from. It's almost like somebody was underneath pulling this kid down. Now, yeah, I would like to know what that is in the background of the pool. It looks like another person might be there. But either way, like I said, a ghost can't soak up water like that that's a family member i guarantee it and they're just playing with the kid they're not trying to drown him they're grabbing at his feet playing with him swimmies or think it was like trying to drown the kid i think it was a ghostly hand trying to pull the kid down Ow. so this genius omar he thinks you know instead of it just being a family member playing with the kid odds are that is a ghost hand trying to pull that kid down into a watery grave i guess <laughs> You see where I'm coming with this, guys? Which one? What are the odds? Huh? That's scary. I mean, being a child, dealing with something like that, and then I imagine telling your parents, like, they wouldn't even believe you. I told you that, that James the Fam is a brilliant mind. If you told your parents that something was grabbing at your feet, they wouldn't even believe you. Even though you literally have it on camera. Okay, in this next clip, this lady pulls out her phone and she's like, what the hell is this? Is it human? Is it an animal? Looks like a dog. Well, oh, she says it's. It looks like a human folded, like, like folded in half. I think that's what she said. Now, I suppose neither one of you guys have ever heard of a contortionist that bend their body exactly the way this creature is bending their body right then and there. I don't know what that is. It, if if it is a human, they're like doing one of those guys. Right. 
I don't know. Comment below. Do you think that's a dog? Do you think that's a person or something no. else? Because it looks like a big dog to me. And the brilliant mind that is James the fan says this thing. That looks like a dog. <laughs> Name one dog that that looks like. I don't know. Maybe a, maybe a deer? Maybe a deer. It could be a St. Bernard. It could be a golden retriever. But I, what I would find funny is if that thing started doing like flips and stuff. That would be so awesome. <sighs> Girl's just walking down the hallway and she looks into this door and this is security camera footage. And she just gets yanked Whoa. into this room. Like watch. Wow, that was incredible. It's as if somebody put a you know, like fishing line or magician string in her hair and pull it from that open door in that room. Because the cameraman runs up to the room, but he never goes in the room. Huh. I wonder, and this, I just wonder if I could like maybe find something wrong with her hair before it gets pulled. You know I did. Well, let's take a look. You can literally see her hair get pulled now let's focus on the hair before it gets pulled look at that do you see that you can see the string hanging on the end of the hair that's getting ready to be pulled look i mean how obvious can it be people wow my mind's blown again i'm like what 10 for 10 right now you can literally literally see the whatever string and whatever's in her hair you can see it before it's even pulled it just takes a second for you to look that's the same lock of hair that gets pulled and you can see something right at the edge of it. As if it's either taped on there, bubble gummed on there, but you can see the string popping off and whatever the string's attached to. Wow. This little girl, she look, looks like she's doing her homework and camera's on her and watch what happens. Yep. She's like, I'm out of here. I don't want nothing to do with this. Keep watching. Keep watching. At first, I didn't see nothing interesting in this clip. Obviously, a fan is blowing the paper off, but I can't prove it. But that black thing in the middle of the table, I want you to take a close look. Watch what happens as it flies off the table. Look at this area right here. You see that? Let's look at it again. Watch. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a string. Now, comment below if you, all, you guys see anything in that clip. I really couldn't see nothing. I know that there's a fan used, and I know that there's string. Sorry to interrupt, but this is post shape here, and I found a string in that last shot, so that rendered this speech absolutely useless. Now, she had been living in this house with her fiancé. They're both in the military. It had been a couple of years, and she had always been feeling off here. She would see things from the corner of her eye. And she got a little suspicious and put a camera in the nursery, and this is what happened. If you or someone you know is a medium, please, I would like your help. The other morning, I woke up and got my daughter out of her nursery and noticed that the books that were normally on her side table were on the floor, and also that her nightlight was off. is turning her nightlight off. Oh, poor. Now you really can't see nothing in this footage, poor quality camera, but I feel sorry for any baby that goes through that fake stuff. Now this is another particular case where there's not much to work with, but is it just me or is a lot of kids being tormented online so their parents can get a little bit of clout? That's just the way I feel about that stuff. You should never put kids in a video like that, period. This next clip, I cannot explain it at all. These people are at a funeral. There's this little kid by the, the funeral casket. I mean, obviously you could see that this is a, a very serious matter. What happens next is gonna freak you out. Pay attention to the red circle right here. So you can see that there's a little kid there and then there's there's something there in the corner. So keep watching, keep watching, because this is this is insane. Kid sees it, he starts playing with this, what? and it gets sucked into the coffin. That's a coffin? It, it was a coffin, but what is that thread? No. Hmm, now, guys, let's weigh our options here. Either A, there's somebody in the coffin, and they're pulling on that thread of material that they somehow know is on the outside of the coffin. They're trying to pull it in and say, hey, hope I get somebody's attention. Or is it simply reversed? and the kid saw a bit of string sticking out, 
and he pulled on the fabric and it come out of the coffin. So I took the footage and I simply reversed the film. I made it play backwards. And yes, it's the kid pulling the fabric out of the coffin, not the dead body pulling it back in the coffin. <laughs> So, uh, as you can see, I reversed the footage, and you can tell the people are acting normal. What's truly terrifying, though, is like, what if there was somebody in this casket trying to get this person's attention? <laughs> <laughs> You're a genius, Omar. You're a genius, Omar. Uh, yes, you know, to get people's attention that's right on the outside of the coffin, what he's going to do is he's going to pull on that thread that he knows is on the outside of the coffin he's going to pull on it and hopefully somebody will see it instead of you know just in like what anybody would do and scream and beat the hell out of the lid you're 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 brilliant you're you're a genius i, I don't even know what to make out of this there's like a bunch of yeah dude there's like a bunch of these guys it looks like they're fighting it's like they're fighting a war they, they look small though like... they do they look, almost look like little minions or something as I look at this clip, I remember this clip. I've seen this clip before quite a few times. Does it look like minions or does it look like more like bird poop? Now, hear me out. That looks like a windshield of a car, if I ain't mistaken. I could be wrong, comment below. But when you have stains on your window when you're moving your camera on the inside of the car, it looks like something's moving on the outside of the car. I've done it before. Let's look at it again. To me, this is bird poop on the windshield. And they got the camera on the inside of the car. And when you shine the camera outside at night time, the poop is going to glow because the headlights is going to look transparent, but it's just poop. Yep, stain on the window. That's what it looks like to me. Comment below, guys, what you think. Like I said, I'm not always right, but I think out of most of the clips we looked at, I think a lot of them are 100% debunked, obviously. Uh, they're pretty good catches, if I must say so myself. The secret word is ring light. That being said, now, Omar did have a, a clip of uh, a dude getting possessed in a gas station, but I just ain't going to fool with it because it looks more like mental illness to me, and I'm just not going to do it. I can't be bothered to do it. That being said, that's the video. I appreciate you guys. I appreciate all you do. Uh, last video, or the one before the last one, one of the, the last two videos, one of them, uh, top three of all time most viewed video we ever had. That's all testament to you guys. I appreciate it. We're growing fast. It's going to be a great year for us. Uh, I appreciate you guys. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Y'all come back now, you hear?